Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World. Now already, there's two things happening. Alarm bells are ringing. One, there's people saying, he's not got a guitar. Oh, I know he's going to be talking. And there's other people saying, oh, at least he's not going to be playing guitar. So what are we doing today, Dunsey? Well, funny you should ask. So I get questions all the time. Dunsey, you have a lot of Japanese guitars. Where do you get them? I mean, from Japan. <laughs> Usually, but how do I go about getting them. Now I've done a couple of these videos before but I'll try and do more simplified straight to the point video this time. We're going to look at a website called Zen Market. Now we're going to do this video in two parts. The first part is going to be what's available on Zen Market and the second part will be what do I do when I've got an account? How do I put a bid in and stuff like that? So this is part one. What is Zen Market? What does it do? How do I see the guitars that are available? So first of all we go to zenmarket.com It's on the internet. Let's have a look. zenmarket.jp forward slash en which if you speak English that's maybe where we want to go. I think they do all other kinds of languages as well but surprising as it may seem I do speak English you know it doesn't sound like it at times but I do speak English. So that's zenmarket.jp Now this is the main page. What is Zen Market? Well Zen Market is like a proxy bidding service you set up an account with Zen Market and they will bid on certain Japanese auction sites. Now, I found that guitars are mostly on Yahoo Japan. I think you can bid directly on Yahoo Japan, I'm not entirely sure. But if you go through Zen Market, they will do all the work behind the scenes for you. You buy the guitar, well, you give them the money, they buy the guitar for you, they get it to their warehouse and you arrange to get it shipped to wherever you are. Now, it's not a free service, you know, Zen Market are not running a charity here. They obviously make money, you pay them commission, but it's only 300 yen per guitar. If you store an instrument in their warehouse for more than 40 days, I think it is, you get charged as well, so... And then when you deposit money, you get charged for that. So, there is a cost, you know, like I say, it's not free. So here's the main page. Click on Why Auctions. Brings up the next page, go to culture and hobbies and then go down here a bit musical instrument tools and materials I'm trying to use this blooming my mouse isn't working so I'm using the old pad takes you to this page here again need to get to what we're looking at so on the left hand side of the page here we have guitar again page up categories so we're in look for electric guitar again you know I'm looking for an electric guitar if you want to buy an alligator saw or a speedboat this is not the area to be looking in page down again and we want to go for so the choice is body effector guitar amplifier etc etc but we want to go for body looking to buy a body page up again now so we're in when you look on the left hand side here categories for your yahoo auctions hobby culture music instruments tools and materials guitar electric guitar and then body and what it does it lists the main categories within that one down below you'll see bc rich or bc ricky ESP, PRS, Ibanez, Aria, Epiphone, so on and so forth. Now what I do is, this is just me remember, so I usually send myself a budget of say 200 to £400. I mean if I was spending £400 on a guitar and then getting flown here that would be, you know, maybe come into some money at that point. But people's budgets are different. Maybe people want to buy a £1,000 guitar. But you do have to remember import and shipping costs which will be in video number two. So what I do is, just to get every one, let's click on the body, and then I have the worst internet connection in Scotland. So we go to filter, which is on the left hand side of the page. So let's go minimum price. So my minimum price will be 200. My maximum price will be 400. Now I don't click 
buyout price means like if you're on eBay buy it now if you put the buyout price only searches things which you can buy now means you don't really bid on stuff so let's go down a bit and personally I just go for used stuff you know I don't buy things can be very expensive when you buy them used so I just go for used so yeah I like used now the next category is seller all shop or person now if you get someone from a shop there is a tax of maybe 10% 10 or 15% so there is costs added on top if you buy from a shop they obviously have like in the UK they have VAT to pay but I just go for all so that's it so I've got my current price 200 minimum maximum 400 no buyout price I don't go for ends after I just open ended auctions condition used seller all now if I click on apply here that brings up every guitar on Yahoo Japan between £200 and £400 every type of electric guitar now you can, I'll show you how to narrow it down but that's what I do I just go for I mean to be honest you're probably as well pouring yourself a cup of tea or a few beers and the benefit of doing it when you've had a few beers is you always make your best decisions after a couple of beers you know I've found that in my 54 years of life I always make my best decisions after a few beers now we want to go to sort I want to sort them out so I want to go now what I do is price high to low now although I've put 400 in and something picks things up sort of 10 15 percent more than that so you can see here we're starting at 413 pound 52 for a Venice Stratocaster USA and then it just lists them all now on the right hand side here beside the prices you'll see like let's look at this uh, Epiphone Japan the LPC 80 nice guitar Epiphone made in Japan so it says the price is £412.89 but buy out 481 so it's like eBay so if you just want to if you like the look of that you would just buy it buy it now so I just tend to look I'm always looking for Les Pauls mostly Les Pauls or Telecasters I'm not a huge Stratocaster fan I like Telecasters I like Les Pauls so we'll just go through these and um, we'll look at that one Epiphone Japan LPC 80EB so you click on the auction brings up on the new page oh it's actually blocked in our system now what I found recently and I got in touch with Zen Market they didn't really explain why but it seems you know the vast majority of things getting shipped outside of the country are blocked you can message them there's a message button I'll show you you can message them to say can you unblock this item I think they look at the country you're in just to make sure that they're able to ship it so I've never had any, any issues any time I've got in touch they've just said oh yeah no we'll just unblock that they said it seems to be some auto system generated thing that loads of items are just blocked so what you do is go down a bit you've got the current price buyout price tells you when it ends number of bids so this is sold by a shop so there's 10 percent VAT you can't return the goods the item condition used not free shipping within Japan so you will have to pay to get it shipped to Zen Market now these are quite important early finish now I guess the person who's selling this the shop that's selling it can pull the auction if they're not going to get the money they want and allowed to do that importantly the automatic extension this is important when you're bidding on something that has no buy price because you can fire in a bid which is higher than their what they're looking for but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get it if it has an automatic extension it's like they've set a minimum price so even though you fired in a bid which is more than they've said they want in the auction more than they've said they want if it's not what they actually want in reality it will the auction will continue and continue until they get the money that they're looking for as far as I can tell so there's a brief description of the guitar body material etc etc that's a nice guitar now here description of items some cracks in the pickup now this is automatically generated translated from Japanese to English to be honest it's probably more accurate than my translation of my voice from uh, Scottish to English neck is almost straight flat operation confirmed now, I think you only get about seven photographs usually oh, I get more here one two one two three four five. nine photographs so you just click on them and then that'll bring it up 
so it's just a case of looking at it, seeing what you think. I mean, you know, you're buying something from, I don't know, how far is Japan from Scotland? 4,000, I think. 5,000 miles, I don't know. So you're buying something from way, way away, getting it transported here, and you're only seeing nine photographs to buy it, so, you know, you be careful what you're buying. So that looks pretty cool, but, you know, I probably wouldn't buy this. Uh, for reasons then, I don't know really. I'm, if I'm looking for, for Japanese guitars, I tend to go for like Grecos and Arias and stuff like that, so we'll just close that window. Back to a list, so we're just coming down. Now once you've used this for a while, like anything, you know, you get pretty quick at it. I'm just looking for a Les Paul, looking for a Telecaster. So when I come to things like this, Edwards, EKT125S Quilt Maple. Nice. I mean, it's double cut away, Les Paul. QM, it's going to have a Quilt Maple top made by Edwards. So it's, you know, it's a good guitar, but that's not what I'm looking for, so I would just fire straight past that. Telecaster Japan. So as you can see, it's just a case of, in case you're going all the way through this. So I'll find a guitar that I probably would be interested in buying, and this one here, uh, Tokai Love Rock LS50, nice guitar. And looking at the price, £409.38, that, you know, that seems to me like a good a good price, so I'll click on that. And Tokai obviously do Chinese versions as well, and there's a lot of them on here, so you have to be careful that you're not buying a Chinese one for £500. Nice guitars, don't get me wrong, but not a £500 nice guitar. So, LS50, nice guitar, nice guitar. Let's look at it. So it's had the pickup changed, one of changed. So it's only got a two screw truss rod cover. Serial number, 1980 serial number, I think that is. I don't know if that's a, that's a scratch on that. They make a break. Nice, very, very nice. That's a good price as well. I bought a couple of um, items from the seller before, so there's a couple of scrapes on it. A dent in the neck, it doesn't look as cracked. That looks nice. Got a plain top, but yeah, I mean, I would, uh, <laughs> if I wasn't already waiting on four guitars coming from Japan, I would be uh, 372s right at, right at the top, right at the top of what I would pay. But uh, I might be interested in that. So what I would do is, I would make my decision later on. As I say, back to the beer story. I'd maybe wait till I had a couple just so I was doing the right thing. So if you want to do this, you click on the Add to Watch List. Now, I'm going on the assumption you already have an account. Because if you don't have an account, you can add it to your watch list. But I will explain the account in the next video. So that's added to my watch list. So then you go back to the main list and just... You know, just troll all through these. When you see one you like, add it to your watch list. I mean, I sometimes end up with 50 items on my watch list. Just, you never know. So, I'll show you something else. You can narrow it down. So, that's me just looking at every single electric guitar. But you can narrow it down. Go to... Let's look at Grecos. I know a little bit about Grecos. Click on Greco on the left-hand side there. And again, that brings up everything in the Greco category. So, I mean, you're unlikely to get new Grecos unless it's one of the Zemitis copies. So, let's just go for it. We won't put any price. We'll just put sort by high to low. What do you think the most expensive Greco guitar on Yahoo Japan is? Put your guess in. Now, £3,253.90. It's quite expensive. An RL70, I like a Gibson L6S. So, I mean, you can see some very expensive guitars. But those top ones, I mean, I wouldn't pay that for that. EGF 1000, nice, I mean, super real. EGF series, beautiful guitar, buy out £2,237, six pence. Let's look at that. <laughs> Just as well, look I've clicked on it, it says this item is blocked by our system because we have had negative experience, refusal to work with us as a proxy fraud. 
So you can't buy that through Zen Market. But I mean, let's just look at it. These come with sizes, I can't remember. Or these Demarzos, I can't, I can't remember what the thousand was. Nice guitar though, you know, in the peak of Greco production at Fuji Zen. EGF, what does it say? Pickups. 1981 guitar. Demarzios. Demarzio PAF. Oh, that was my cat. So the EGF 1000 comes with the Demarzios. A lot of money, though, eh? A lot of money. So let's go back. So again, it's a case of looking through, seeing if there's anything you want. I mean, things are expensive like this. EG, Greco EG 600. Ace Freely. That's a lot of money for one of these. £1,138. Like I said earlier, you get, you get used to the pricey stuff, you know. You immediately see things and think... An EG 800, £1,000, too rich for me. Oh, well, here we go, an EGF 850, now I do I have a 1981 EGF 850, absolutely beautiful guitar. So here's one here, an 82, one of the later Super Reels. Super Reel series is 8081, maybe an 82. Transitional going into the Mint collection, series of Grecos in 82. So they're looking for £1,118. They're not cheap guitars. Beautiful guitars. Though. So these like have a solid maple top, but on top of the top is an actual flame maple veneer. Whereas when you go higher up in the EGF series, it's a solid top. So yeah. Nice guitar. So two of the beginnings of nineteen eighty two guitar. Looks in very good shape. PU two pickups comes in standard in the eight fifties. So that was Greco's second highest sort of pickup. So there you go. That's a beautiful guitar. But that guitar's gonna cost you eleven hundred and eighteen pounds plus fees plus import. Could be looking at a 13, 1400 pounds guitar by the time you pay all the fees and stuff, so yeah, not cheap, but you know, nice guitar. So that's Greco's. And I'll go back to Scott the top here. So, say on the left hand side, it has all the categories. So, we're in the Greco, so you just click back up the tree, as it were, click on body. Excuse my cat, he's sleeping. Sun's coming in here, it's getting very bright, I can barely see my screen. It's like the blind, leading the blind here. So we're back to all the categories, you've got ESP, PRS, etc, etc. Now what you can do, in the very bottom one, other, so that's everything that's not in one of the categories above, you find some of the lesser known brands, you find some, some really nice stuff here. Again, I'll just put in my 200. So I think it's maybe depends on how much time you've got. I mean, if you've got the whole evening, you could do the first search. Every second hand electric guitar on Yahoo Japan, so you know there's a lot. Or if you don't have as much time, you can just go into each category and just, you know, you think, well, I quite fancy looking at Aria today. Just go into Aria here, sub category, and put 200 minimum bid, 400 maximum bid. And then just loop through areas. Find the areas you like, add them to your watch list. But this is the other one, so you, you do get some good stuff here. I'll go for 200. Maximum 400. And again, we'll go for used and apply. So this should bring up all the guitars which are not in the other categories, sorry, just above other. So you find some surprises in here, you find all different stuff. Let's go for sort by price high to low. So this 
So, what you tend to find in this is a lot of non-Japanese guitars. You know, a lot of guitars that are imported into Japan. Vintage guitars, like I said, you know, that's quite expensive for vin vintage guitars are nice. Quite expensive by the time they get to Japan. So you find a lot of the Fuji Gen stuff. It's a nice Telecaster there. Go have a look at that. So bio price three seven two. Don't like the headstock on these. Don't like the top of the headstock. Nah. So that's how you find and view items by doing that search. And the ones you like, you quick add to watch list. But that'll be in part two. You keep saying it's in part two, Dunsey. Give me part two. I'll give you part two next week. I'm just showing you how to look at stuff. It may be that you look at Zen Market and think, ah, you know, there's not really that much I'm interested in. Or it's going to work out too expensive. So there's no point in me showing you how to set up an account if you're never going to use it. So I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Just for now.